We are not getting that surge in the US dollar given the euro strength right. in today's session. Right. The palace intrigue, the politics, the Russia story. In DC, it's fascinating. For an investor sitting here in New York, does it matter? Well, I, I think it certainly does matter. You know, if you look at uh, you know Trump's approval ratings and the dollar index, the DXY, um, they've been sort of both traveling south together through most of this year. But I, again, I think that's pretty well understood by the markets at this point. I don't think there's anything new. Uh, there's no nothing really new there. Um, I, I think you know when you were talking about the euro strength here, and I think it's very interesting. You know, you had a classic head and shoulders pattern on the euro uh, stretched out over the last five months. Uh, it was so obvious for that to break and to go down to 112, and yet here it's not right and if it can sort of get through this from a technical point of view get through this uh, period and, and and even maybe rally back to 120 that's going to be a real statement about uh, how people are perceiving not just the political situation on both sides of the Atlantic but where's the relative growth um, and, and you think it's on the European side of the story well, the you know best, you saw the best that you, way to express that is through the currency well I look I think right now you know we've talked about this in the past that, that, that the sensitivity of the euro stocks to the currency is more more pronounced once you're above that 116, 117 level. You're just seeing it, right? So that may be a more obvious trade if you're a macro investor is to, is, is to get long um, uh, the euro right here.